All right, in this lesson right here, what we're going to do is take a look at overloading the take damage function that's coming from K-Actor. So picking up right where we left off in the last lesson, first thing I want to do is let's go ahead and we'll save this out. And how about let's bring Unreal Ed back up just so that we can go ahead and grab the function coming in from K-Actor. So we'll bring this up. Here it comes. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Come in. Come over here to Actor Classes Browser. Come in here to K Actor K Constraint. Of course, you notice KBS joints not loaded. You know we'd have to reopen the package. But let's come up here to K Actor and open that up. And then all I'm going to do is come down here to the function Take Damage. So we'll just grab its comment, the function, and then the opening curly brace block symbol. We'll copy this out, and let's then go ahead and minimize this out, and then come back over here inside of Context. And let's paste this, and let's go ahead and close off our curly braces so our function's been enclosed properly. Now, default behavior when shot. Period. So when shot. Well, what are we going to do? Well, how about let's just do something very simple. We'll All right, log it out. We'll start out with the saying something like log. I've been and shot. Ouch. Okay. And um, maybe ouch. The damage was. And then we can just go ahead and concatenate damage to it. Something like that. Just so that we can see how much damage just came in. Yeah. Okay, so with that in place, now, this isn't going to work. No, it isn't. Okay. Why is it not going to work, Joel? Well, because the collision radius and collision height, et cetera, are not set up. And a up. bunch of other things. Right. But let's go ahead and show this. Yes. Right? And, um, yeah. So we'll the people know, ooh, it doesn't work. That's right. So let's go ahead and save this out. Let's go ahead and compile, of course. So uh, we'll just come over here in F9. And compiling looks good. And now let's go ahead and, well, since we got Unreal Ed open, let's just jump over here and we'll say file, open package, and we'll grab well, We can just go ahead and load our constraint. level. Yeah, that's a good point. But what I want to do is just come down here to uh, K Actor, Constraint, KBS. And so you can see we're keeping up with current events. Everything's good. So now let's go ahead and load up our level. And let's go ahead and jump into it. So let's see what happens. Let's see what kind of log information we get. A whole lot of nothing. Yeah, okay, so let's go ahead and fire and do the show log like such. Yeah. Okay, that looks good. Now let's go ahead and come back up here and we'll grab that and just maybe move it up a little bit so that we can see. All right, so now run down here, shoot the barrel. All right, now what I'm going to do is switch over to a rocket launcher Adrenaline. and fire. Fire. And a bunch of firing. So take damage is not working. We're not no, getting into that function. That's because this actor has not been set up to recognize when it's been hit by a projectile, okay, or any sort of bullet or, or ammunition that's been fired That's at. right. I so mean, the trigger, of course, still works. Yeah, so tink, ah, uh, splat. And then, of course, now she is by herself. <laughs> a little dun, 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 dun. Okay, just kidding. So let's go ahead and exit out of this real quick. And uh, we'll come over here to Unreal as well. And we'll go ahead and close that down because we don't need that at the moment. Well, actually, you know what? I hate to say this, but let's jump back over there because briefly we can take a look at some of the things that we do need to set. All right. I think that would be useful in this particular case. So let's go ahead and open it back up. Waiting. I'm waiting a little longer. And we'll jump right back into our map again. And we'll go ahead and open up the properties. It's currently selected, as you can see right here. There we go. All right, up here in collision, there's several things that need to be set, such as B, collide with actors. We've got B, block actors that needs to be set to true. See how these are being set to false? So collide with actors, no. A block actors, no. Because originally a KBS joint wasn't designed to collide block with players. anything at all. Yeah, and if it was, think about the inefficiencies there because it's right, going to be... Right, there would be no purpose. It had to be detecting. It, it has a collision occurred. That's with, right. So, you know, yeah, not good. So there's a handful of things in here that are going to need to be set to true. And then down here, we're going to go ahead and specify to use a cylinder collision. And then we're going to specify a height and a radius as well for that uh, collision. Okay? So those things need to be set all up underneath the collision um, section of properties, if you will. So let's go ahead and close this out now. Now that you've seen them, as opposed to setting them inside there every single time, we'll go ahead and establish them as default properties. So we'll come down here and let's see. B collide actors equals true. Um, B block actors is true. B block players equals true. B use 
cylinder collision. Of course, we're going to set that to true as well. True. And then we got our both our height and our radius. So collision height and about 15 and collision radius. Maybe about 15 as well. Of course, that can be adjusted to your taste. Right. So whatever. All right, so with this set up, now, how did we know these? It's magic. It's all magic. End of story. So let's go and compile and check it out. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, well, first of all, once you've been working with Unreal for a while, it, it just makes sense. Yeah. I mean, all of these things have to be true. And here's another way. For those of you that are beginners and, you're not, and you don't know, well, obviously you know that it's going to have to collide with something for it to happen. So, I mean, there's your first clue. Right. Check the collision tab. So you go into the collision section. Then which ones need to be set true? Well, just start walking through setting everything to true. If right. You and have check any wiki doubt. to make sure that what, what the purpose is, et cetera. Exactly. And also go to udn.epicgames.com. Right. So there's all sorts of places you can go. But, you know, collide with actors, maybe that needs to be true. You know, you go through these and you start setting each of them to true and watching to see is this in anything happening. And um, you know what? Soon enough, it's going to happen. Then you can go back through and say, all right, can I take any of these out? And if we set any of these to false, it will not work. You have to have all of these set to true. Right. So as long as everything's spelled properly, let's go ahead and do F9, do a quick compile. Wow, you actually spell everything right. That's amazing. Miracles do happen. Wait, and, it's Sunday. And then let's go ahead and real quick, let's just jump back into Unreal Ed at the moment so that I can show you that these things have been set. Actually, check this out. We'll come over here to File. We'll come down to uh, Constraint Example again. And he's already selected, so let's go ahead and open Properties. Open up Collision. So B Block Actors, yep. Um, B Block Players, yep. Our Collision Height and all, 15. Are we going to use a Cylinder Collision? Yep. So all that stuff's already been set. Default Properties for us, okay? So that's really cool. I just wanted to show you that first. Now let's go ahead and jump back into the game and see what happens when I shoot it at this point. So we're not destroying it yet. No. We're just logging. We're just logging. I'll go ahead and show the log. So, yeah, good point. Play. All right, so we'll go ahead and run over here. All right, now, shoot. Up, up, up. Oh, ouch. ouch. The damage was seven. Seven. So we're getting seven points of damage each time we hit it with it. All right, all right, all right. So let's see if we can take a look at some other stuff. Like Rocket launcher. What does... Hmm, let's see. No. Yeah, what does this guy get? 45. 45. Hey, definitely a whole lot more than uh, 7. So, link gun, 30. 30 uh, a little weaker. Mini gun, 7, 6. Okay, we just got a lot more of those bullets hitting us. Uh, flat cannon, 13. A bunch of 13s in there. Rocket launcher. 88. All right, let's go for something a little bit. Uh, all right, so all right, 71, 88, and 61. Redeemer. Redeemer. Do you really want to pull up the Redeemer? Yes, I do. Do you really? All right. There you are. I know. Let's see. Is there anything else? That, dude, you know, we're going to end up dying from this. So. I know. Are you sure? Yeah. How about? that? That's not. Oh, come on. The Redeemer. All right. So, boom. 150, 200. Get, ah. Wow. And here we go. Ah, he didn't slide down the hole. That's amazing. <laughs> He's just chilling out. It's like, it's all good. Yeah, but I'm yeah, just relaxing. The damage was really high. I was just looking to see if there was any other weapon because I knew that was going like, <laughs> to well, eliminate us. So let's go ahead and exit out of this. And really, that is all that we wanted to do in this lesson was just to show you overloading the take damage function and make sure that we could take damage with our new KBS trigger joint. So in the next lesson, we'll go ahead and implement the actual uh, system, the health system. And then we're going to actually make it work. And we'll make it work. And then that'll pretty much conclude the VTM. So that's going to wrap it up for this lesson. Thanks.